Hi everyone, it's Sorkin. Today we have a problem when we are given an integer array nums, an integer k. For example, in this case, we have nums, uh, this one, right? And the k is equals to 2. We need to return the k most frequent elements. So we may, we may return them in any order. So for example, in this case, the 3 is repeated twice, 2 is repeated, 3 is repeated three times, 2 is repeated twice, and the 3 is repeated once. So k most frequent elements are one and the two and the we are returning them. So how are we gonna solve this problem? To solve this problem, we are going to first step, our first step is we are going to create a hash table or a hash map, and we are going to calculate how many times each value is repeated. So how many times each number is repeated. So for example, one is repeated three times, two is repeated, two is repeated twice, and, and the, three is repeated once. So this is our first step. So after having our hash map with the values, right, or hash table with the values, the second step, what we are going to do, we need to sort them by frequency. So which data structure we can use for, for this case. So we are going to use a um, minimum heap in our in our case we are going to use a maximum heap so what we are going to do we are going to store in our maximum heap so we are going to store three one two and we are going to take from our so we are going to take from our maximum heap the top k values right for example first one we are going to take we are going to take this one right with the one with the frequency of three and the second one we are going to take two with the frequency of two and we are going to return that so we are going to implement in java and in java the maximum heap for the maximum heap implementation is the priority queue so the first step is what we do so priority queue priority queue in java and uh, the first step first what we do as a first the first step we are adding each element to the we are adding each element to the hash map or hash table and uh, we are increasing the frequency for example one is repeated three times so we have three times two is twice and uh, three is once so after that the next step is that we are implementing a max heap we are going to implement in java it's a priority queue so we are going to add them into the priority queue by sorting by the by the value so then we are going to take from our then we are going to take from our queue the k elements in this case we are taking what we are taking the first element we are taking because it's frequency of of it three and we are taking the second element which is the frequency of it is two and we are returning them first thing that we do here we are creating a hash map with the key and value being integer. So we are adding, we are going over our array and we are checking that if that element, if that key is in our in our hash map, if it is, then we are setting value to zero plus one to one. If it's an, if it is, then we are taking whatever the frequency is and adding one. If not, then we are adding zero to one. So we are setting that to one. So the next step is that we are creating a, we are implementing a max queue and for the max queue we are using a we are using a priority queue in java so for the for the what what is the so what, what we are storing in the priority queue so we are storing in the priority queue map entry which gives us our entry right and we are storing them we are sorting them by the value so for example let's say that in our case right one is repeated three times two is repeated twice and the one is repeat three is repeated once so we are we are adding them to the price so first we are creating a priority queue and we are going to sort them by the value right the next step is we are going over our hash map and we are adding that to our priority queue so we are adding to our to our priority queue the another another improvement that we do here is that if the size is more than k we are we are taking that value why we are doing that because let's say that we have thousand thousands of elements right and we need our k is equals to three or four so we don't need to keep in our priority queue all those elements so that's why we are taking from our priority queue if the size is more than k because we are only going to return k right we are taking that value from our queue and the next step is that after uh, after adding that to our priority queue the next step is that we are creating a, an array of integer result that we are going to return and we are going over our queue and uh, pulling the keys and uh, because we can return them in any order right and adding that to the result 
and returning the result. So what's the time and space complexity of this solution? So let's calculate that. So we have three for loops, right? The first for loop, the time complexity of it is O of n. For the second one is a n log k. Log k is because we are here, right? The time complexity of the of the hash of the max q is log k. So for the n elements, it's n multiplied by log k. And in this case, we have only k elements, k multiplied by log k. So the we, and we are taking the upper bound, so n is more than k, right? So we are taking the upper bound, so our time complexity is n multiplied by log k. So what's the space complexity? Space complexity in this case is determined by these two data structures, right? By the map, by the hash map, and the, by the priority queue. The, the, time the space complexity of hash map is O of n, and the, for the queue, the time complexity is we are adding only k elements, so it's O of k, so we are taking uh, O n plus k. Okay, uh, that's it for today. Hope you like my content. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you next time. Bye.